this is my PP700 W I recently bought I got plans to customize it and print some parts for it and stuff and um, first thing I wanted to do was get red dots off for it and uh, that didn't really go to plan if you want to find out what happened keep watching <laughs> Okay, so where's my PP700W that I've wanted for ages? Uh, if you want to watch some other videos on our channel about how we customised Dazzers and we, we printed uh, the same parts for another guy, one of our viewers. Uh, and great little gun. Great gun. I'm really looking forward to shooting it. Um, at the minute, you know, the weather's bad and stuff. Can't get out in the garden. Um, so I'm going to get it all prepared. Now, first thing I thought. This has got a, is that 11 mil dovetail Daz? I thought yeah. I said 12 mil on the box. No, is that 11. that is 11 mil? Yeah. That's what I thought. No, 11 mil dovetail sight mount. So I thought, right, okay. So I jumped online and I thought, right, no, Daz has got a Hawk. Um, Hawk Vantage. Hawk Vantage. Uh, and you can't get one for less than 80 quid. Red Dot, not Red the, Dot, uh, yeah. And, uh, and that's good. nice and small and that matches the gun great. And I've used it and you can't miss with it. And. Um, but I couldn't justify 80 quid on a red dot, so yeah, being like, up oh mate, everything asked, you know, you've done yeah. well getting that, you could get 60 quid, 60 was it? Quid yeah, 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 and that wouldn't, you know, that long ago, was it really? Not six months. Anyway, so, what happened was, now I knew that was, um, you know, sort of budget, a bit of kit, off eBay, say no more. Um, I said 11 mil or 20 mil, and that this little bracket on the bottom, I'll show it, there it is, that's called a, uh, one by 40 RD, it's got a red or green thing, it's got covers, you know, that look good, that look good, it's got a shiny end on it, you know, it's got these covers come off for I, the, the adjustment don't feel quality at all, uh, I don't know if that's... Yeah. A little bit more, there you go, you've got it, you've got it. <laughs> no, that's yeah, that is pointless, right, so, you know, alright, if I do the job, I don't expect top precision and stuff so I went to clamp it on here and uh, that, that didn't that didn't grip and I was thinking that fucking you typical what, what did the actual well page say? this is what I'm now going to discover right so I thought yeah I want to send it back and I screwed up the return and because they want to charge me to send it back and I thought no way Jose that didn't do what it said oh no my rights I'm going to get you my money back and then I cancelled it, then it wouldn't let me redo it, so I thought, oh, I can't get a refund, I'll just message the guy and say, yeah, I want my money back. And he offered me like three quid off, so I thought, oh, what the hell, because when I read it, it said, 11 to 20 more weaver rail, not dovetail. So I thought, okay, I'll look online, and they, I, 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 I'm struggling to find one at Fit Days, that yeah, I could get, uh, you know, the Hawk, 80 quid. Like, yeah, oh, so that's what I need, anyway, so... That was probably my goof, so I thought, okay, what can I do? Now, I had one of these um, Picatinny rail adapters, 11mm uh, dovetail, to this fit and what I got here. What was that, 20mm weaver, right? Yeah, and the trouble is that didn't sit level, all these grips on the side when you tightened it up, that, was just, that wasn't that great, mate, to be honest. And I, I tried it and that looked horrible, and when I stuck this on here with that, that, that just looked, oh, I don't know, mate, look at it. Yeah, that's why it's uh, that ain't, that ain't a hawk, look. That like hawk, mate, look at that. That's, yeah. that's a bit arny, isn't it, really? Yeah, and that ain't me. That's, that's, 80s, that's, a boy, that's a boy racer scoop, isn't it, pistol, for a pistol? You, you might as well have a 12-point you know. <laughs> 50 scope on it. So, yeah, it was a bit large, and oh, I don't know. I mean, for what I paid and the bit of money I got yeah, back yeah. off it, if that's semi work, I'll put it on one of my cheap air rifles. Yeah. Uh, but I have got this, this little site, which I think I got from you, Dias. Yeah. Uh, one of those projecting hologram dot things. Oh, hologram. Uh, hologram. What is it? Hologram? Holographic. Uh, holographic. But it's fake holographic. But, um, that's how I'm having trouble picking up the... Ah, oh, there it is. And when we, oh, let me take my glasses off. Yeah, that's better. That ain't so big. But, you know, that, looking on there, you know, I mean, compared... Yeah, that'd be a nice... That, yeah, if I can get, get it scooped in right... So, they, and they're not cheap either, mate. Oh, no, that's, that in a no, that's a new name one, but even them, like, 20, 25 quid. So, anyway, what's the point? Because I can't put none of them on this gun. Oh, so I thought. So, I got on Thingiverse. Now, I didn't design this. I did have to resize it. That didn't fit at first. And that slide on to 11mm um, dovetail. You get it in closer to 
So you basically slide it onto the 11mm dovetail, you put your um, your scoop mount on, and when you tighten that up, that grips it on. That's a nice thin, like, thin yeah, thin yeah, that's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, nice well. the first one I printed, um, that was that that just fell off. Um, so I resized it, I measured it, resized it. I got this little formula that I do. It's like this online converter. I worked out the percentages. So now this is lovely, mate. Look, that's really tight, tight slide on fit. And that that looked good as well. And yeah. um, you can, uh, you know. like, even if you had nothing on it, that makes it. Yeah, makes yeah. It even if you didn't use that. Size, yeah, even if you didn't that use that. Cool. Yeah. Or oh, well, what I thought actually, because um, again, what I'm now going to show you is um, I, I printed a shroud with a built-in like iron sight. Yeah. And unfortunately, this bit get in the way. So you could actually mount an iron sight on that back bit. And have a slide on little bit on the front or something, or, or print the shroud with a longer just post. Just have your front post on the sh on the shroud. Have it longer, and then have a mounted rear sight on that, yeah. and have it set up for yeah. a silencer. Yeah. So you got your iron sights over your silencer. Yeah. Point is, I would have liked to left that on to just use the iron sights, and that sort of get in the way a bit. A slimmer profile it is. Yeah. So um, there we have it. So this then. Did actually fit on it nice i can grip that on tight i can set it far enough forward and i'm going to give it a good ass to be honest that don't look the greatest thing in the world that probably isn't the greatest thing in the world but for the money i don't suppose i could complain yeah, and well. that i mean that I, to thing. me that is for looks and cumbersomeness and all the rest that and you could probably still get a holster that will yeah, yeah, so yeah, like yeah. So I, I think maybe I'll try this out. I'll get try and get used to. It. I've got to get you know get used to using it. And um, the fact you, you can just still look through it. So um, yeah. So what I'll do, I will slide this off now because what I want to show you is the Piece Mark the, the Mark II shroud with built-in sights, and there she is. And a little bit of a goof on the on the pattern there. You can sort of see air in that gap there, but I don't know. That looked like that's part of the design. That ain't going to fall off. If you want to hold it up, I have put paint in the little recesses, which took a lot of doing. That kept drying up with a hole in it, so I had to put some PVA with the paint to thicken it up. And um, that works. Good old Norwich City colours. That's the brightest paint I had that stood out. Yeah, I'll give um, up bring my glow in the dark. Stuff so, on. here we go. Now, as we speak, as we speak, oh, I have got this bottom bit printing like I've done for Das. Um, and as we speak, that's probably the only PP700W with iron sights on it. Built on to the, <laughs> onto the thing. Now, I don't know if you could... Um, Get some sort of sight view down that day. Right, that's empty. I've got to loosen the cocker just so you get there. Yeah. Yeah, so you got. Yeah, there's your sight picture. Yeah. So, um, can't wait for the bot. I don't. We've got time, I'll have to finish this video. I so I, yeah, I yeah, still print it, I'm going to check on it in a minute. So that's my shroud piece. Um, there, there was because I had to print it with support that ran all the way up, and I had to pluck it off. Now it came up quite cleanly, but there are some Did little you sharp that tree support. I didn't, I that just done it all the way up, mate. <laughs> so I will have to do that, mate. I'll try that on the next one because I will, I probably will print it that so one. Much time and filament. Yeah, I know, mate. But I'm happy how it come out. So I might have to, once I get that adapter, the guy posted today, I got an adapter on order off that oh, website yeah. that, that you got. The T one I got. T-Rob, yeah. yeah. Um, T-something Rob. T-Rob, yeah. T-R-Rob. I might have to sand this down lengthwise to get that below the sounds of thing. So I can adjust that. I've got the shroud on its way. So on the next video, hopefully I'll have this sort of pretty much ready to shoot. Um, that was another thing that I had in the back of my mind when we were going and do our little uh, buying guns video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was a, I was had a look out for a nice little compact tripod to put on the thing you printed for mine. Yeah. So I could have like a nice little tripod. 
baseboard yeah. as well. Yeah. Or a bipod, should I say? Or a tripod, or a bipod. Yeah, I think if I do this again, Dad, so if I just print this a little bit higher, that'll yeah. work with that rail on. Because I like the look of that as well. Yeah. That'll look nice, don't it, on there? Perhaps make it a bit longer to fit the whole thing, maybe? Yeah, I'll um, just do some uh, math and figure out your front and rear posts so you can run yeah. rails and silences and all sorts. Yeah. Yeah, so I think there'll be a Mark II shroud with the iron sights redesigned a bit to bear this in mind. I'll, yeah, I'll sort it out. Or do you put it all in one and slide it on from the front? Um. <laughs> well, uh, well, I was just to make you print stuff and really. No, well, I was thinking you don't have to print this whole shroud if you didn't want that. If you didn't want the look of it, oh, no, you could, you could just print two separate rings, maybe even join with a little thin bit to keep the distance, mm. or, or just make it clip tight on, um, and something to keep it level. Well, that slot, that slot, pretty much keep that. Yeah. I got that down to that measurement. I got that perfect. Finger on that, they just lock down. They do, they lock yeah. that together, yeah. So, can't wait, can't wait that to finish. I'll try that a bit later tonight. I'll get that done for the next video. Hopefully, get the sites working and sight it in, and maybe do a demo. Yeah. The silencer power test. So, we'll figure that out. what I would say, these cheap sites are cheap. Yeah, they basically just look like the old Milbro sites that you used to get. If, if I can set it up and that work to a reasonable standard and functions, you know, I'm not expecting it to be something precision, you know, if that's good enough. But that definitely looks better on a rifle. I'm yeah, for the, mon easy. for the money, that might be alright for a rifle. Um, say nothing's cheap now, if it work, maybe, hopefully. So, I'll try and set it up perhaps show a video like you say Daz get that camera mount set up and stuff and uh, yeah thanks for watching um, see you soon <laughs>